Joining me now in the studio to discuss yesterday's diplomatic spat between Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and German Foreign Minister Sigmar Gabriel is Olga Deutsch, Director of the European Desk at NGO Monitor. Thank you so much for coming in. Hi, Aaron. Thanks for having me. No problem. So yesterday's canceled meeting with Gabriel because yesterday Netanyahu canceled the meeting with Gabriel because he was meeting with certain NGOs that the state is not a fan of. Will you tell us a little bit about that? Well, it, was, uh, it became sort of a scandal uh, in the last uh, 24 hours. Mm -hmm. uh, the Prime Minister basically made an ultimatum, sort of an ultimatum to the Foreign Minister of Germany that in case he proceeds to meet with Breaking the Silence and Bezalem, the mm -hmm. two uh, human rights organizations, Israeli ones here, he will not meet with him. And he went on and met and uh, the meeting was cancelled. I believe there was an attempt uh, from the Prime Minister's office to uh, reach uh, to the Foreign Minister of Germany by phone, which did not happen in the end. I see. So, and what are, what are the, you know, problems with these organizations that the government has with them? You know, why, why is that such a hot button for Netanyahu? Well, you know, I, I, I've come here uh, representing a research uh, organization, a research institute, so I cannot speak on behalf of the Prime Minister, but uh, this is part of a much uh, broader and larger phenomenon, and uh, I believe that these two organizations are sort of serving as a symbol of a much uh, bigger issue. Uh, based on the statement that was issued by the Prime Minister's office, um, they would have wished for the German uh, foreign uh, minister to meet with a broader range of representatives of the civil society and not only of one specific uh, side to the conflict, because obviously breaking the silence and Bethlehem right. have, a, have a certain agenda presenting the conflict. Yeah, I mean, you know, when you say broader, broader issues, you know, do, are these, are these uh, NGOs receiving foreign funding? Well, that's what, first of all, they're presenting a specific political uh, mm -hmm. uh, niche in the Israeli society, which would be uh, the far left. Uh, but yes, they are also uh, enjoying a very generous German uh, mm -hmm. federal funding. In case of breaking the silence, the in the past four years, they received 5.5 million shekels wow. only from Germany. And uh, Bethlehem received 1.7 million shekels in the last four years. And this is from Germany alone. And uh, there are no, these organizations are. So we can assume are, that there are others. Th we know. This is what we, we do. We look, at the, uh, we look at the activities of the NGOs as well as, at the, as uh, the funding of uh, all the NGOs that are involved in the Arab Israeli conflict. So I know for a fact that both organizations right. receive uh, generous donations from many other European countries as well. Are there, are there other organizations that we should be worried about, that Israel should be worried about? Well, it's not just Israel. I don't think this is an issue that uh, should be Israel's issue alone, given that the European governments are so vested and so mm -hmm. interested in, uh, uh, in uh, taking a part, a, a proactive one, both by funding and, and being, uh, being a partner in the, in the discourse. It's a, it's a joint issue. Uh, and I think that the two organizations that we are talking about are um, just the top of the iceberg mm -hmm. and by far uh, do not represent the most dangerous uh, narratives that we see there. There's a, uh, we just issued a new report that actually talks a lot about it, that there are plenty of uh, Palestinian, Israeli, or European organizations who use the term of human rights mm. and uh, to whitewash what is promoting violence, inciting mm. to violence, justifying terror attacks. And in some certain cases, they have direct ties to terror organizations such as PFLP, which we here in Israel know from the yeah. earlier days. But actually, they have claimed responsibilities for many for the, of the attacks in the past 10 years here as well. Well, thank you so much for clearing some of that up, Olga Deutsch. Thank you so much for coming in. My pleasure.